Welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. This is a walk I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, this is the River South that runs through Coventry. We're going to do the walk from the confluence with the River Avon, or the mighty River Avon. And that's the river that you can see behind me now. That's the mighty River Avon that runs all the way to the sea. So we are in Stoneley at the moment, um, just on the outskirts of Stoneley Deer Park. So behind you there is the River Avon. And if we take a little walk over here, look, let's just turn you around. Over there, that's the River Sow. And uh, that's the river that we're following today. So in today's walk, uh, as you can hear is Charlie. So it's just me and Charlie today. So uh, let's make a start. So the river is quite swollen today. Little monkey boy, look. Desperate to find ducks. Rather muddy footpath. I've already uh, nearly ended up on my arse, that's why I put the camera on because uh, nothing more entertaining than an old guy falling over. Excuse me, I'm a bit out of breath. The only problem with the river is because it meanders and uh, there's not always a footpath next to the river. So for a lot of this walk, we're going to be away from the river, just trying to uh, catch up with it somewhere and keep with it. But I'm sure we'll manage. I got down the worst of it without slipping over. See how we get on now. Now I'm hoping the bridge is at the bottom of this hill because we need to cross the river, the river Sow, to carry on with our walk. So I'm hoping that somewhere down here there is a bridge. According to the map there is, but that's whether I'm on the right footpath or not. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay, like I said earlier, the river's a bit swollen at the moment. So that's the, uh, the direction of flow. That's heading towards the River Avon. And that's heading up towards Coventry. There's a lovely church over there. Look. We're going to take a wander over there now because that's taking us in the direction we want to go. So we're going to follow the river as much as possible. Um, obviously we can't follow all of it, but uh, we'll do our best. So these, uh, these little walking videos I do, they're, um, I think I've told you guys before, they're inspired by a chap named John Rogers in London. Um, he does a lot of London walks and um, some of his videos are amazing. He's a wealth of history and knowledge. He's, um, he's really entertaining. So I'm going to put his link in the description above. Um, please check him out. Okay, this is St Mary's the Virgin Church of Stoneley. And you can see there's two distinct parts of this building. It's the older bit there, look. Then at the back, there's a newer piece. It's um, be interesting to find out when that was actually added. And you can see what's left of a, um, what looks like an original doorway there. Whether it was, who knows? It's a very beautiful church. The sun's out blessing us today. It's quite a warm day considering it's um, mid January. Stunning. Right, let's head back down to the river, I think. There you This is Stoneley Community Orchard. All the apple trees look. And each tree 
<laughs> each tree's got a label it shows exactly what apple or fruit's growing on it awesome completely awesome and then you've got the old stone bridge socks on <laughs> my boots are filthy it's uh it's very squelchy <laughs> oh. there's the lot don't think you can see him through the trees but he's gone flying past something most important as you can see we've only been walking for about an hour and already my shadow starts to get quite long so um, the idea of the walk was to, to get from its confluence with the Avon all the way to its source walking the river backwards if you like um, so I think we'll probably be doing it in two parts because uh, there's no way I'm going to get to the source today not considering it's about 20 mile away <laughs> in the summer I could probably do it in fact that's not a bad idea I think I'll come back in the summer and have a have another go at doing it's um, do it the other way perhaps from its source to its confluence but we shall see we shall see just get a little peek of the river there look through the hedge And then just above it, the way you can make that out. Stonely sewage works. Yeah, you could smell that a minute ago. It's a good job we didn't have smell of vision. It was a little bit pongy. Anyway, keep going through the mud. It's very squelchy. Still very squelchy. So we're still near the river. Um, it's about 100 feet through the woods. So we're still following it. But down the bottom there, there is, uh, in the little valley down here, it does look like um, what used to be left of a mill pool or something like that. don't know whether it actually is or whether it's just a natural hollow in the ground, but it definitely looked like a mill pool, which wouldn't really surprise me. You know, going back four or five hundred years. Right, it's at this point now where we move away from the river slightly. It is very beautiful here. And the weather has blessed us. So just down there, um, the other side of that green field, there's the river. And now, go back the other way, sorry. So the river carries on along that way. And we're heading up over the hills over there into um, Baggington Village. Just come across this beautiful little stream and a fabulous little footbridge. Charlie's found himself to have a little drink and somewhere to have a good sniff look. Still got his brown socks on. The water looks so clear. Almost tempting to drink myself, but uh, I don't think I will be. <laughs> so this is the remains, or the area where the remains of Baggett's Castle. It's somewhere I want to go and uh, I want to go and visit. I don't think there's a great deal left now, apart from a few stones, as you can see in the picture there, look. It's um, five pounds to go in, five pound entry, which I think is a bargain. So that's one uh, one job for the summer. I'll be up here when this Covid crap's over in the summer and we'll, uh, we'll come and visit. Back into the church. Now, unfortunately, I don't know the name of this church and I haven't seen a sign yet, but when I do, you guarantee I'll stick it in the screen somewhere. Uh, St. John the Baptist. There you go. Now we know. It's an absolute fabulous place. I do... Um, I'm not a religious person by any means. But I do love 
um, old church buildings, church architecture, whatever you want to call it. I mean, look at that. The carving of the stone that's gone into that. Unbelievable. I am, uh, I'm definitely in awe of the old masons. Right, as we walk out of Baggington Village now, that's our first view of Coventry. Just on the horizon over there. And the river is just down here in the valley. So we're gonna walk down this road here, past Lunt Fort, which I'm gonna show you, and drop down. And then we'll, uh, as a little footpath runs across the bottom of the hill here and goes under the junction there for the motorway. It's not the motorway, sorry, the A45. And then we'll walk up the road across here and the river runs just across here somewhere in the valley there. And uh, this side of that industrial unit and then these units over here is Jaguar Land Rover at Whitby um, where I used to work. So let's carry on walking and uh, have a look at Lunt Fort if we, we can't get in but we'll have a look see what we can see anyway. So this is, um, well this isn't the remains, this is the rebuilt version or the reconstructed version of what used to be Lunt Fort uh, based here on the site. And if my memory serves me rightly, um, they used to be what they called um, a rotary, rotisserie. Um, it's like a big circular structure and apparently it's where they used to train horses for battle. Because um, it was quite a high structure, sound would echo back and forward. And they'd have soldiers stood all around the outside, um, banging their shields and making loads of noises. And, and it was a way of uh, conditioning the horses to the sound of battle, apparently. Um, we'll see if we can get a better view as we walk around. But uh, if you're ever in Baggington or Coventry, it's, uh, it's a must see, definitely a must see. Although it's reconstructed, the history is still there. It's on the actual site where, they, uh, where it was originally built. And there's all earthen banks that have been built up. You know, it was a proper fort, proper built fort. Good stuff through the fence. But you can just see there, the original old, what would have been the, uh, the wall of the fort. And it was um, a built and bank with a walkway on top. And if we walk further around, you can see a bit of the, uh, the road tree. So there it is there. And you can just see it. Yeah. So that piece there, that was the rotary. And they'd take horses in there and train them. And um, yeah, definitely worth a visit. Definitely worth a visit. And all in the ground, there's all the old markings. You can see where the uh, foundations and all the old Roman buildings. It's definitely worth a visit. Anyway, carry on. Let's get down and find the river. And we're back down to the river. Um, we're in an area now which is called, um, well, it's the old mill in uh, Baggington. So you can just see the old stone bridge. Absolutely brilliant. A couple of guys playing poo sticks on the bridge. We're just going to cross over. So you can still see the river is still in quite a heavy flow. There you go. And there's two feeds there. There's a feed from the left and a feed from the right. And you can see a little fork in the middle. And the feed from the right would have come from the old mill. Because there was, years ago, a mill. Hence why it's got its name, obviously. And then the feed from the left would have been the original flow of the river. Awesome. Keep going. Okay, you'll have to excuse the road noise. Um, it's a bit busy here. So this is Jaguar Land Rover at Whitley, just over here. Um, and a few of the buildings that are now springing up. This is going to be one of my walks in the future. Um, this is the River Sherbourne. And just a little bit further down there, is where it makes its confluence with the River South. Okay, so once again, you'll have to excuse the noise. So we were, where that green sign is there, that's where we were a couple of minutes ago. And then this is the River South. And you can just see over there, uh, where would it be? Back there, you can just see now, I don't think you can see on the camera, but I can just see now that the, uh, 
the River Sherborne joins the River Sow. So there you go. We're back on the river. Well, in a fashion anyway. So the plan is now we've got to get the other side of that bridge. So I don't think there's any footpath under here. In fact, there's not a footpath under there, although it is, um, you probably could get through if you wanted to, but there's fences there, so we're not going to. Um, there's the new Jaguar Land Rover bridge over there, so that's where we're going to head now and see if we can cross over it on foot. So here we go. Um, going back to a video a minute ago, Lunt Fort is just on the hill there. And that's why Lunt Fort was built there, it's because it's on the high ground. This is the highest bit of ground um, oh, for a few miles. So that's why Lunt Fort was built in there, to get a commanding view of the lay of the land, all the way down to Leamington and Warwick that way, Comptry that way, and obviously towards London that way. So anyway, less about Lunt Fort, more about the river. Let's carry on walking. I'll, uh, we'll do another video when we get up on the new bridge. I might try a, a bit of a detour here if I can, because I know if I walk up there and along that wood line there, I can get down to the river which is down here in the bottom. We're going to cross the river here in a minute now, but if I can drop down onto the river this side and follow it into the woods there, then that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have a little walk down the bottom here now and um, see if I can get on this side of the river, this side of them sport pitches there, because the other side of that sport pitch is where the footpath I want starts. So um, let's go and have a look. Okay, we're right down by the water's edge just at the back here. That's the Jaguar Land Rover plant at Whitley, which incidentally used to be an aircraft factory years ago. Um, they used to make the Whitley bomber here, or parts of the Whitley bomber or something. I'll have to investigate because there's a lot of history to this site here. Um, I think it used to be owned by Talbot at one stage as well. I think Jaguar bought it off Talbot. And then just a bit further across this way, there used to be uh, Comptry Zoo. Um, a bit before my time. I still remember a big wooden Zulu being um, stuck outside. As you, left, as you left the town, you could see this big wooden Zulu. It was amazing, you had to see it. So anyway, let's carry on. There's a little footpath through here, but uh, I don't know how far it's gonna take us, but we'll see, we'll see. Little Charlie's there chewing a stick lock. Okay, keep going. Okay, I literally just walked through the hedge and I know exactly where I am now. I've walked this bit before. This bridge here is where we've crossed over in the past, walking the dogs. So uh, if I can get up and onto that bridge. So we're back on familiar territory now. So uh, yeah, I know exactly where I am now. There you go. In the last lockdown, I walked down there with my brother uh, on one of our walks. So right, let's keep following the path. Um, will it be slippy? I'll keep the camera rolling in case I end up on my ass because uh, I've been close a couple of times on this walk so far. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, an old rotten tree. All the holes in it, the woodpeckers are made. It's absolutely full of holes. Don't know whether the camera picks it up very well. It's fabulous. As soon as he sees the camera on him, he comes running. I think he loves being on camera. He knows he's the star of the show. <laughs> Just peeping through the trees there, the uh, nice old sandstone bridge. I'm just coming out of um, the area. I, I call it Whitley, but it's actually, I suppose the proper name is Whitley Abbey. Um, Guessing from the name, I assume there was an abbey around here at some point. I need to investigate that a bit more. The school's called Whitley Abbey and the area's Whitley Abbey. But people just call it Whitley now. Um, road up here is uh, London Road. So a lot of towns have one. This is ours. Right behind me, you can see Willinghall Police Station. 
um, maximum security. Uh, it's one of the places where they bring um, terrorist suspects because it is maximum security. So with an old police station right there, look. And uh, now um, we're coming into one of the roughest areas of Coventry, shall we say? Um, council estate called Willinghall. Hence the name of the police station, Willinghall Police Station. Uh, yeah, quite a rough area. And you'll see that as we go through with the amount of litter. Because as you go through here, the amount of litter massively increases. And the only reason why I can think um, on this walk, we will eventually cross a couple of council estates. And, uh, and the only reason why I can think that is, because at the time when um, Comptry was expanding, this would have been on the very outskirts of Comptry. And with it being a river, obviously this is a floodplain. So when the river floods, it comes all over where we're walking now. Um, and I think because the land was probably cheap because it was a floodplain, the council got it quite cheap. Uh, and the town planners jumped on it, I suppose. Um, like I say, with it being on the outskirts of town and with it being cheap, I presume that's the reason why they built here. So anyway, I could cheat now. So I could walk across this bridge and go across and then go that way home and that'd be a lot quicker. I can get home in about 20 minutes. If I turn right and follow the river, I mean, both sides follow the river. The left-hand side over that way, that's a short version. The right-hand side literally follows the river. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, I wanna find out where the dog is. He's in there somewhere. Can't hear him. Always worries me when I can't hear him. Okay, let's carry on. The river's about um, 100 feet that way, just through the hedges. We're gonna come down to him in a minute. Um, go under a railway bridge and uh, follow the river round. Got a nice surprise for you soon. A nice film location. Not that any of you will recognise it, but um, you'll know the film when I tell you about it. Okay, let's keep going. I do love a good bridge, and this is definitely a good bridge. There's some of the artwork on that stone there. And the thing is, it's hidden down here out of the way. Nobody sees it, apart from people like me who come down here walking. But the artwork in the stone lot. <laughs> it's nice. It goes all the way around. Like Way around that cornicing. Is it called cornicing? I don't know. Under the bridge. Kids used to love making fires in here when I was young. I think they still do by the look of it. No trains yet, though. Come on, Charlie. This way. So the river's flowing just across there. And, uh, uh, Charlie spoils everything. When I was a kid, um, Coventry used to have air shows. And it's in this patch of ground here, just along this bit here, where a uh, Gloucester meteor crashed at uh, one of Coventry's air shows. Not exactly sure of the date. I know I was very young, probably about 15, 16, something like that. Maybe maybe a tad younger, might be a little bit younger. But yeah, Gloucester Meteor crashed. I think um, I think the pilot died actually, if I recollect. Anyway, still following the river. Not far from my home ground now. Um, I've stumped these grounds around here many a time with the dog. And crossing the river again. So we're quickly losing light. So, the famous film location. 
Here it is. Here it is. You don't recognise it. You don't recognise it. Ah, oh, well. When it was a film location, that road above us wasn't there. Anyway, just to fill you in, this is where they filmed the tunnel scenes of Italian Job. So this is where they lowered all the minis down into the tunnels and they filmed it. There's a little plaque there, look. So celebrating the 50th anniversary of the location of one of the greatest British films, the Italian Jump. There you go. And this is this is here. It's where they lowered the cars down into the uh, into the pipes and filmed. So there you go. Italian Job. Amazing. Back along the banks of the river again. Um, this river's it's featured throughout my life. Um, I've swam in it, I've paddled in it, I've fished in it, I've weed in it. <laughs> yeah, it went through the um, the river ran through the school where I went to as a, as a senior school. The river ran through there, which you'll see later in the video and um, one of my childhood friends also drowned in this river so um, yeah this river's featured in my all the way through my life and that's why I wanted to do this walk today just to you know just to show everyone how, how beautiful but also how ugly it can be um, I love it across the field here because I could hear a load of sparrows squawking in the bushes next to me and they're still squawking a little bit now but nowhere near as much as they were a minute ago and I think it's because I'm over here with a the dog they, um, you hear them how amazing is that beautiful one of life's little pleasures another very uh, muddy and squelchy sticky footpath but um, this is the only thing you can expect really this time of year um, it's been raining the last couple of days the river's flooded the ground is absolutely saturated so mud is uh, a byproduct of walking rivers I suppose but yes very squelchy underfoot so that's on to a grain school there see through there look. so the other side of the river there is the old GC golf club or golf course um, I think it's just called Copswood golf course now but at one stage that was one of the best golf courses in, in England uh, when it was owned by the GC and um, I may have come over here as a kid to steal golf balls but I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> Street lights are now on. Looking forward to a nice cup of tea. How terribly English. There's Stoke Old Boys Rugger Pitch. river runs just the other side on the line of the trees not that you can see a great deal now it's starting to really get dark now. The camera's struggling to pick up any light so we're still following the uh, South Valley footpath there you go another bridge so this is a, the bridge on Bingley Road that crosses the river south and um, that's us for today so uh, I'm going to finish the walk here and um, carry it on another day. Right, hope you can hear me okay. Um, that's it for today. 
uh, we're going to carry on this walk in a couple of days time um, we're on Binley Road at Binley Fire Station in Coventry and the river is just below us I'm still on the bridge now so hope you enjoyed the video so far if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, also comment and like the videos as well any interaction with the video is YouTube love it so anyway hope you've enjoyed catch you again soon see you bye